What's up guys, I'm Chris or Cookie, otherwise known as CG Cock. I'm going to be going over every bit of detail you need to know about how to play Duelist at a Radiant level. It would mean the world if you could like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're back. Last video I did was Chamber on Icebox. It seemed to do really well, so we're gonna make another Chamber video today. Today, we're gonna be covering Chamber on Lotus. We'll make it very short, simple, and easy, and we'll get right into it. Just like last week, we're gonna cover over our trip first. I'm gonna show you where to place it while defending on all three sites and while attacking. Let's go right into the trip spots. All right, the best trips that I like to use, if you're playing towards site, you definitely wanna throw a trip in tree because most of the time, you're not gonna be playing tree as a Chamber. Now, realistically, you have two options to place your trip here. One being next to the door and two being behind the actual tree. You want to make sure it's very deep behind the tree because if they do spin the door, they can see the trip if it's not deep behind the tree and they can just break it for free. And then if they break it for free, it ruins your information for tree. And if you are playing tree, the best spot to place your trip is right outside of a main, roughly around here. That works. This way the enemies have to scale up all the way through a main in order to break this trip. And you can play off this trip from site or stair. And the last spot I would place my trip is usually right here in the entrance of a main. Okay. That way with this trip, you can usually play off it from back site or you could play off it from heaven. And for B site, there's really only two spots you can put it. One is either side of the main. That works. And two, you could actually place it behind the box off a barrier, okay. which gives you deeper information, almost like a KJ turret, but they could still extend all the way out towards the box. That's why a lot of people who play chamber like to place a trip like this. Because a, a trip like this gives you the same amount of information that a KJ turret would give you. And then last but not least, we have Seasight. I'll show you a couple common trips before I show you the ones that I actually use while I'm playing Chamber on Lotus. Common spots to place the trip are very close to the main, either on this box, under the box, on the opposite side of it, deeper on the opposite side of it. If you are playing off this trip from Bend and you are swinging into C main, you just have to be cautious because this is a very, very open choke point. So usually you're not only going to see one person, you're going to fight more than one, if they're scaling properly, of course. All right, and obviously like last week's video, we showed you the headhunter is very self-explanatory. It's basically a sheriff or deagle. You could ADS with it, it one tap headshots, and people usually refer to it as the pocket guardian. Same rules apply for the op. It's pretty much just an operator. The only thing that's different about this chamber op compared to a regular op is the fact that after you kill somebody, you actually get to drop a slowing circle around that person's dead body. Now we're gonna go over his main thing, which is the teleporters. Just like last week's video, I told you with the new distance buff, you're actually able to place teleporters a lot further. One of the best teleporters to use is usually to fight towards main or slant. Now with the new distance buff, you could place it in two locations. You could place it here, and then after you place it, you'd run all the way back towards stairs. Barrier would be right here. And you're able to walk out a main with this TP. You can push all the way to tuck in the corner of slant. And then you can take a fight and TP out. Now instead of this corner, we're going to place our TP in this corner. Same thing. We're going to walk out a main. Now we can still play slant and we can still take a fight and TP out. And now with the distance buff, I like to use this TP because it actually helps you rotate the fastest if they do end up hard rushing C. I like to place it towards top B. That way, you can run all the way over. You can still play slant. Basically the same exact thing, except you can't go to the very corner. And once you TP out, you can rotate fast towards C, whether that's through B or whether that's through spawn. Typically, you want to rotate through B because it kills a lot of time on the rotate. So if they are hard rushing C, you're able to get there at a faster pace. The only thing you have to be worried about is your front B if you're not throwing the aggressive trip. Here. Now for B, a chamber won't usually be on here, but if I am playing B, I'm going to show you a couple of TPs that I use. One being lined up with this nice decor. This is pretty much just to fight B main and you can take a little bit of the B main control. You can place it on this side. Same concept applies. You just fight for B main if you want to. My favorite TP to place for B is right here in Waterfall. Now with this TP, you're actually able to play all the way in B main. And if they're going C, you could either spin the door and fight them or you can TP and you'll have a fast rotate towards Waterfall to help your teammate on site. And last but not least, we're playing C site here. A good TP you can place is in Waterfall. That way you can scale out mount and you could fight and TP out. 
On site, there's not a lot of TP spots you can place, but if I were to place one, it would be somewhere towards Bend. That way I can play this close corner and I can TP to Bend if I need to. All right, now let's talk about attack. First thing is the trips. As chamber, you're usually going to be lurking, but if you don't have a duelist in your comp for some reason, then you'll pretty much have to play chamber as a duelist and you're gonna have to entry for your team. The only thing is, keep in mind, you are the flank watch if you don't have a KJ. So having that trip alive towards the end of the round is very important. So if you're lurking, I'll show you where to place your trips. And if you're entering for your team, you could also place these trips in the same location if you're going towards that site. For A site, I would usually throw my trip here. If I'm lurking, that way I can walk all the way up B and my trip is still active for A flank. But if you're entering as chamber and you're rushing A, I would throw my trip on top of root. Okay. Only reason I would throw it here is because the flank, yes, can scale up pretty far. It's because look at the radius of this trip. It is a very big radius, but at the same time, if you're entering for your team, you're really going to be somewhere in tree here. or site. So having this extra range, here is really what you need as an entry duelist this way if you place this trip you can sit in heaven now if i were to place the trip here in the default spot when you're lurking you cannot reach heaven with it and if you don't have a kj you're the only flank watch so you need to be aware of that that means you can't really scale far up on site for b there's a couple trips you could place it here you could place it here you can place it here or you can place it here. Either way, with B, they're going to see the trip and they're going to break it or they're going to get hit by it. Putting it in a spot that's noticeable is not terrible. You don't want them to scale all the way up here because usually you'll have a player deep B main. That's why you want to place it somewhere like further back here. Yes, they could walk up and break this trip, but at the same time, it's better you get the information that they're here instead of here. For C, there's really only two trips I place, one being on top of this box. It gets all of the walk down on both sides, and you get a little more distance, or I place my trip right here. It gives you even more distance, but if you want to play this deep tucked corner on bend, you can place your trip on this side. That way the trip covers all of this spot. And then for the TPs, there's really not a set protocol you can place them at. Just like the Icebox video, we're going to be using our TPs reactively on attack. Let's say you're going C. You don't necessarily need to have your TP in a set location, like such as Mound or C Lobby. What you could do is be on site even. Let's just say you want to place your TP here. Now you're able to swing spawn and TP out. And now you're still on site and you're able to help your team fight and take this site. A really good TP spot for A, just throwing your TP here. You don't want to do it directly in the corner because a lot of people know that you place it here. So they'll buy an Odin and they'll spam from A site. So I like to do mine off to the side a little bit. And if I'm not doing it off to the side, I like to place mine in the very deep corner. That way I could swing out. Then if you do end up getting this kill and you do end up getting your TP back, you can save the recharge and use it proactively towards A site. Once it recharges, you can place it here and play towards site. You can place it here and then play in tree. Pretty much anything now that you have a second charge of your teleporter. And then for B, I basically just place it on this corner of B main. Here. That way with this TP, you can walk all the way up. You can take broken control. You can even play this very far corner in broken. That's all I got for you on Chamber on Lotus. If you want to see Chamber on a different map, feel free to comment that down below. I'll make sure I get right on that. If you want to see a different duelist on Lotus, make sure to comment that as well. Other than that, I've been Chris or Cookie, otherwise known as CG Cock. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. Peace, peace.